all right guys today i'm going to prepare a dish inspired by bacalhau gomas de za which is a portuguese dish i am not going to use salt cod which is the um, traditional way of doing it and the whole dish is not going to be traditional at all so if this was on my main channel i would call it inspired by on this channel i'm going to probably call it but it's not so i think i've got all the ingredients what you would use in a normal um, traditional way of cooking this dish but i'm going to transform it um, because there are plenty of um, videos of the traditional um, dish is no point of me doing it it's obviously not my traditional dish being hungarian um, however we do have a very similar dish in hungary we just use different ingredients we don't use um, fish we use um, sausage uh, not sausage um, so in the hungarian version we would use um, this kind of sausage which is a more like a salami is a dried um, sausage is not a sausage it's more like a salami it's got no um, bread or anything added this is just dried meat really uh, but today we are not doing Hungarian cooking today we are doing inspired by cooking so what I'm gonna start with as I said I don't have salt cod I'm just going to use cod uh, just season it with smoked sea salt and I think what's gonna take the longest is gonna be the potato so I'm going to start with the potatoes uh, I've got ingredients which are not in the original dish which is carrots and tomatoes uh, also shallots but I'm just using different kind of variety of um, onions really uh, yeah so I'm gonna start with the potatoes potatoes only one potato potato and I'm going to slice it very thin I did already wash this by the way uh, and I'm not going to peel it that's probably too thin this should be fine now. maybe a bit more thicker no, that's it. So I'm going to try the potatoes first. Okay, I'm gonna leave the end bit for now because I don't want to cut myself. Um, I'm just going to wash the starch out from the potato. So, what I'm gonna do with the potatoes is I'm going to use olive oil and garlic. some salt and pepper to the oil and I'm just going to mix this up mix it with the potatoes And I'm going to make the foundation of the dish. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. 
Okay, so I'm, I'm trying to keep all the elements of the original dish, but um, turn it into something else, which is quite exciting for me to do. I always enjoy um, not reinventing the wheel, but you know, try to um, get inspired by something and then turn it into something else. Yeah, this seems about the same portion. So this one I'm going to bake off. This should take the longest, probably. And my oven is set to the maximum temperature. Then next I'm going to cook the eggs off. Uh, but I'm not going to hard boil them. I'm looking for a nice and runny yolk and I put already boiling water to start with I do the fish so of course I've already put salt I'm going to add some black pepper and I'm going to add some butter to the cod as well Quite um, well, it's not dry, but it's not a very fatty fish, so I think some butter is going to help. Okay, obviously, this butter I can't use for much else because of the contamination, but I use it for the dish. Uh, what I'm planning to do is to have a nice looking dish and that's when the carrot is coming into the picture because I'm going to roll the cord up and I want to have a nice colorful dish so I'm, that's why I'm using the carrot so I was planning to just have thin slices of carrots Oi, almost lost it. Oi, stay. Okay, water is boiling and it is O2. Okay, this should do, and just going to roll the cord up, like so, and then roll it in the carrot. Again, I'm doing this just to have more color, I like uh, colorful dishes. Okay, that looks good. And I'm going to leave it in the cling film because I want it to keep this shape. And I'm actually going to cook the cord in the cling film. Okay. So this is well done. Make sure that um, 
know what he's getting inside. And this is, of course, quite safe to do. Um, this cling film is has been designed um, for food use, and I'm not going to cook it on a high temperature. Okay, on to the second one. Okay, this should do. I'm just rolling it up like a sausage, squeezing the air out. And then just put another layer. Okay, so the code is done pretty much. That's it. Okay, so I've got my two nice code. Um, this goes down so I can use this pot for the code. I can peel this later on and I'm going to actually cook the cod from cold water because I want it to uh, come to temperature slowly. Now I don't need this chopping board anymore. You should check on the potatoes. Are we still smoking? Yes, we are. Very smoking. Wow. Yeah, potatoes looking very nice. Okay, I'm just gonna increase the temperature slightly. The next step is going to be the onion. So traditionally what I've seen in traditional recipes, um, they just fry off the onions in um, olive oil. So I'm gonna do something similar, I think. I need a frying pan. And I'm going to need olive oil. Quite a bit. Turn the induction on medium heat. What should I do? Yeah, just slice it. And I'm going to add a couple of couple, three bay leaves. down and caramelize them and what should I do with the shallots though? Shallots, shallots, shallots. Should I use them for decoration? But it needs to have a purpose to be in the dish. I might just... What should I do? Hmm. Would be nice. I know what to do. The same as you do the Hasselbeck. Is it called Hasselbeck? Okay, let's try something new. So I'm just going to score, slice the shallots, but I'm not cutting through. Okay, do the same with this one. I'm going to add butter to this. This is salted butter, by the way. Like so. And I know what to do. I've got some capers here. Because I think this dish is crying out for capers. 
so I'm going to add capers with the shallots if I can squeeze some capers in there And this should add another layer of flavor to this dish. Alright, so shallots are pretty much done with the capers. This should be very tasty actually. So I'm going to add these to the potatoes. Very smoky potatoes. Just like so. Parsley. What should I do with the parsley? I think I'm just going to cook them off after I fry off the onions. That's what I should do. Just going to add the rest of this um, olive oil. I don't want to waste it. And I'm going to season the onions with salt and pepper mix hmm exciting uh, very exciting I've got some cherry tomatoes for garnish and for flavor as well of course I've got more garlic which I'm going to add to the parsley actually okay onions are getting cooked off quite nicely and that water is heating up. Don't want, it, don't want it to be too hot. We are 72, that's actually quite enough. 75 degrees. Yeah, I'm just going to leave the fish in this temperature. Don't want my fish to be overcooked. Lovely. Um, what else can I do at this moment? Not much. I can fry off the tomatoes as well, slightly, gently, in the same oil. Oh, this is going to be tasty. Nice, I'm excited. And guys, thank you for these suggestions. Um, if you want me to, you know, well, you can say I'm ruining the dish or you can say I'm coming up with something new but if you want to see me doing something then just leave a comment and if you guys like the content um, help me out and subscribe I don't normally ask um, anyone to subscribe especially not on the main channel because I believe that if somebody wants to subscribe they will but actually thinking about myself I do subscribe as well thanks to them and um, people ask me to subscribe but up to you if you like the content and you want to help me out subscribe if you just want to watch the videos that's fine as well either way I'm happy that you are here ok so I'm just going to finally chop the Parsley. That's 
bit and the garlic as well Just mix it together. All right, this smells amazing. I have to say, the tomatoes. I don't want to cook them too much. I want to bring out the sweetness. I think that's about it for the tomatoes. So you can see slightly cooked but not overcooked. And I'm just going to keep cooking these onions until they are absolutely caramelized. And of course tidy up as always. Alright, so I think the onions are pretty much done at this point. Absolutely beautiful. So I'm just going to remove the onions, but without the oil. So at least I'm going to try to squeeze out the oil and to keep it for the parsley. So now I'm going to add the parsley and the garlic. And the butter that remains. And I think I'm going to add some balsamic vinegar as well for some extra acidity. But first I'm going to cook off the parsley and the garlic. Add a bit of balsamic and vinegar. And turn it off. Okay, so this is pretty much done. Okay, what's left? We have the coat, we got the garnish. Let's need to be heated up. Let's check on the potato and the shallot. Oh yes, definitely looks awesome. The shallots can do with a bit more color. Potatoes are both done. Oh wow.
Okay, I'm just going to finish off the shallots and the potatoes and I'm going to plate up and that's it guys. Alright, so the cod is pretty much done but I'm just going to finish the in the oven. So I'm going to turn it up to high. Um, get rid of all this rubbish. Start to reheat everything. So I've got my parsley oil. I have my tomatoes. The onions. Without the bay leaves, of course. So. All right, guys. So I'm just about to um, plate up. So this dish has been inspired by bacalao gomez de sa. Hopefully, I pronounced it um, properly. So um, at the finishing touches, I've got the Kalamata olives. Um, I'm just going to plate everything up. going to give a bit of color to the carrot. Lovely. All right, so plate up. We have the Lovely potato, oh, nice and crispy, quite amazing actually. Oh, this is going to be tasty. What should I do next? Uh, I think I'm going to add some onions. Wow, then of course the fish, Then we have the shallot with capers, just as an additional flavor and texture. All right, of course, we have the soft boiled egg. Oh, ho, 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 ho. That exactly what I was looking for. Um, olives. And of course we have the cherry tomatoes, actually put like this, nice!
and of course we have the parsley and garlic all right so guys this is my dish for today um, it's been inspired by rather than the original but you have many many videos of the how to make the original dish um, anyway I really hope you enjoyed this episode if you want to see um, me trying to do um, something similar let's say with your traditional dish just let me know in the comments um, Mrs. T and me are going to enjoy this very much I think so guys thanks for watching and I shall see you on the next one